Hey, Wild Man Adventure fans. We're going to do something a little different today. Um, we're going to have a little talk from the heart. Um, man, I love all you guys, and you guys know my passion for saving the history of monster trucks. And I've tried to never really divert off from the actual monster truck stuff and some of my other hobbies. You guys know I'm into a little bit of everything, so we've done some different adventures. Um, but I wanted to kind of talk to you about where things are at right now. Um, we're in a very historical time. Um, it's kind of an unresting time. And I really didn't want to get into any of that kind of politics or anything with all this with all this virus stuff. So we're not going to get into that, but but I just wanted to kind of go over the the monster truck industry right now. Um, the monster truck industry is really devastated. You know, any kind of form of entertainment right now is in rough spot because you can't there can't be events, you can't have people together. Um, and all that's really taken a, an effect on the monster truck industry. And I'm hoping you guys will watch us all the way through the end. Um, I know this is a little different. We're not doing a history thing on a monster trucker or whatever. But you guys know my passion. You know that I'm really into saving the history of monster trucks. And I love monster trucks just like all of you do. And uh, But you know, the, the monster truck industry has been devastated with this whole virus thing. And uh, I just don't, things aren't going to come back the way they was. And it's, and it's really sad um, that it's going to take a while for people to be able to actually go to events again. And, you know, the big powerhouse of monster trucks is pretty much, it sounds like they're pretty much done for a while. I, you know, I don't know what's going to happen there. There's been lots of different speculation. But, you know, there's a lot of the guys in the industry that, that will get lost in history. And it's really sad, um, you know, without doing things like what we're doing here with our videos and stuff, a lot of these guys will get lost in history. And we're really struggling as far as getting content to give to everybody. Um, you know, my business is struggling. Everybody's been touched by this virus, so my business is struggling. I've lost some really good help and we're very understaffed and we're trying to survive through all this so I really don't have time to go out and chase all the guys plus with no events it's hard because everybody's spread out all over the country so actually if you know somebody that would make a great story if they're able to travel tell them to contact me and maybe they can travel and see me and we can do their story um, it's, it's kinda hard for me right now to get out and do a lot of traveling but one of the things I was going to talk about too is, you know, our passion with starting the, the museum and the Hall of Fame was 10 years ago. This is our 10 year anniversary and uh, it's, you know, we're trying to save the history of monster trucks, which we all love. And the, the Hall of Fame and the museum, there's only been a few of us that have actually supported that financially. And right now, even that is in a in kind of a rough spot. You know, the museums are all closed. Um, museums make money from donations and from people visiting them. And right now, you know, we're not open. We're actually a gallery in someone else's building, so we have no control of being able to, you know, invite people in. We can't really do anything until the new owners feel safe and actually open up. And uh, so that being said, we've, we've started a couple new things with the museum, which uh, one of them is the membership. For $50 a year, you can get a newsletter every month. And that $50 donation, I mean, this, we're doing a lot of the same stuff as I'm doing with the video series, but we're doing articles and we're doing stuff just like what you would have seen in an old magazine. Um, this, this month's issue was Kevin Dabney. Um, with a lot of his trucks and a lot of history on Kevin Dabney. And uh, we need content for this too. If you know somebody that's a good story, send it to us, their contact info, so that we can contact them. But I'm really kind of asking for help here. Um, not so much for my YouTube channel. Um, I love all you guys. You guys are great. You've been supportive. Um, we love your comments and input. But we need support with the museum. You know, and at some time in the near future, we're going to need to have our own building and our own facilities. 
And uh, if we had our own place, the dreams are just unlimited. And, and that place is going to be everybody's in the monster truck world. And if we want to remember all these guys, you know, that's where they're going to get remembered. You know, it kind of hits me sometimes when I go by a graveyard because I'll see tombstones and monuments that people, people have spent tons and tons of money to try to be remembered. And uh, they basically, a, a graveyard is basically just, you know, a field with gravestones. And unless people actually go and visit, they'll never remember those, per, you know, those people. And they've spent a lot of money sometimes on these big monuments that people will never see. And uh, in the monster truck world, if we want to remember all of these guys that were huge influences to us and took us, you know, when I go back in history and look at the, you know, it brings me to a happy point. I, I loved monster trucks and it was really, the monster truck, they just, they brought the kids out in us. I mean, you know, you guys understand, I don't have to explain to you, you're all monster truck fans. But we're, I'm kind of reaching out to say, hey, help us a little bit. Um, we need to get some donations for the museum. With the membership, you actually get something for your donation. And, you know, $50 a year. I've had a few people whine and cry and say that's a lot of money. But you can't even go out for dinner some evening with just two people for less than $50. I mean, and you actually get something every month. Um, you know, this YouTube channel's probably going to get a little bit, you know, we tried to put something out every Wednesday, Wild Man Wednesday, and uh, right now we're struggling with content, and I don't want it to get washed down, I don't want to be doing dumb stuff, um, so we, we may end up doing less videos, maybe a couple a month right now, until we can get some more content and actually get things opened up and get out there, um, but if you can, please help the museum efforts um you know we've got 10 years of our lives put into it it's a huge passion we hate to see that all go go into a failure mode you know and with this virus we're going to see a lot of guys we're going to see a lot of failures because of this virus um you know and even the monster truck guys man keep keep everybody in your thoughts and prayers and and if you get a chance, reach out to some of your favorite drivers and stuff. There's a lot of guys that have lost jobs. There's a lot of guys that are going to lose everything that they've worked so hard to get. Um, there, you know, the business side of it. You know, a lot of the fans don't realize the business side of it. You know, we we were just one of our last episodes were with uh, Dan Patrick, and we were talking about how much easier it was to get into the monster truck business because of him and the products that he builds. But it's still an undertaking, you know, even if you could buy the parts, you still had to assemble the truck. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, there's still a lot of hard sweat, blood, and tears go into these trucks. And very expensive. And it is an entertainment thing, you know. The, the guys love, the guys love performing for you fans. And, and that's what has been so neat about the Monster Truck family. I mean, we are a family. It doesn't matter... Who you are, if you're a monster trucker, you fit in. And if you think about the history of monster trucks and the events and things, if you're at an event, it is a true family-oriented sport. And it's so neat to look out over the, the fans and to see the, the grandparents and the moms and the dads and the kids and even the aunts and uncles that bring their nieces and nephews. I mean, it is such a family environment. When you look at other forms of sports, it, tip, it typically is one little segment. You know, you might have certain sports only cater to, to country club type people, or, or certain sports might only cater to just women, or just a certain minority or whatever. But the monster truck world, everybody is a fan, or everybody that's a fan is like family. I mean, I've just, I've, I've never had a bad experience at a monster truck event. You know, people are courteous, they love each other, and, uh, but now I'm reaching out to you guys because that family needs to help take the support of the Monster Truck Museum, and we need to be able to survive through this virus because there's a lot of current guys right now that if we can't, if we don't have a place to showcase 
the history of monster trucks. There's a lot of guys right now that are our heroes or, or you know, that are, that are icons in the industry right now that will be forgotten in the future if we don't have some place to remember them by. Um, you know, and if you get a chance, man, reach out to some of these monster truck guys. You know, most of them's got Facebook pages and fan bases and stuff. And just reach out and give them a little encouragement. Tell them that you love them and you miss being able to see the shows. Because I tell you, right now it's a struggle for all those guys. Everybody's really down in the dumps. Um, you know, and we're going to lose a few because, because they're just not going to be able to stand or... or they're not going to be able to survive the financial stress. When, when you go from the busiest time of the year, when all this virus stuff hit, was the busiest time of the year, and that was when the guys make the biggest part of their income. And now it's, it's, it's went clear into the summer now, and all of the summer events are getting canceled. There's a few little glimpses of hope out there because there's been a few little events here and there for the guys to do. But not all the guys have been able to do them. You know, there's only been a few guys that have been able to go out and do shows. And uh, I tell you, it's a devastating thing in the monster truck industry. And we're all, you know, every life is getting affected by this in a different aspect. But if you can reach out, um, you know, encourage these guys, send them a little send them a little, you know, shout out, you know, I mean, it just, it would really help. I talk to a lot of the guys throughout the week, every week, and I tell you, everybody's spirits are really low, and it's really sad. I get kind of choked up about it, I don't mean to, but even with the, you know, even with the museum, if you can join our membership for $50, you know, call, uh, either call, uh, or get on our Facebook page or the website and join. Um, it's only fifty dollars. I know everybody's strapped for cash right now, but you know, for fifty dollars, let's let's make this thing last. I would love to be able to look back twenty years from now and be able to say, man, it was a rough time, but we came out of it in a you know good position. Um, you know, and if and if you can donate more than fifty dollars, I mean, it would be great because I tell you myself and some of the other guys that have been the main supporters of our of our banquet and the events and and just you know helping with donating and everything i tell you everybody's been affected by this and and a lot of the guys that have their own companies are really suffering right now and they just don't have the extra money to to be able to help keep that thing alive so hey i appreciate all you guys watching I know this is kind of not what we normally do. I appreciate all your comments and your support. And uh, we'll be trying to get some more videos out. We may have a week or two here without anything. But we're really trying. And uh, appreciate all you guys' support. Thanks a lot. Have a great one.